एवरीवन आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो विच इज मोस्ट डिमांडिंग एंड दिस सोर्सेस आर वेरी लिमिटेड अवेलेबल ऑन द इंटरनेट सो हेयर आई कम सो लेट मी स्टार्ट विद दैट आई हैव वर्क अपॉन दिस थिंग दैट इज एस पी कैंपे ड्यूरिंग माई जॉब सो आई बी शेयरिंग दोज डिटेल्स बिकॉज इट इज हार्डली फाइंड एन एनी यूट्यूब चैनल और गूगल एंड सो इन आर और वेरी लिमिटेड सो लेट सी and i hope it will be helpful to those who are looking for uh, sap conquer it is part of travel and expense which comes under the accounts payable only okay so as you can see my screen travel uh, expense and invoices the expenses an employee uh, you know incurred for the travel purpose for official reason Uh, for the reason like he has to go somewhere for the business purpose so he can pouch all those expenses and get the reimbursement from the company so here all the records are maintained for the employees expenses whatever they have incurred during the business trip and uh, let me begin with this so this is how the screen looks and uh, this is the sap conquer screen for the employees uh, those who have to submit their expenses so this is how it looks they can submit their uh, expense reports from here create new report and you know there are multiple option i have also very limited source to access this right now to uh, to this tool so i can only show you those that i have got the images from the google so this is one of the images that i have got from the google and so employee get all those options like if he has spent any amount on the fuel or hotel expense then he'll get the category for those expenses to select he'll select those and enter the amount upload the receipt uh, along with the date and all other details that are required to mention and he will submit the uh, expense report these expenses are shown as not submitted here because employees has generated his report but has not submitted yet that is why it is showing as not submitted he'll submit the report it will be shown as submitted and uh, it will come in a queue then we will review the report that is our job that will be our job if you are looking to work in this profile so you you have to review those reports if employee has incur uh, whether they are ca correctly filled and receipts are matched correctly or not so these are all the theoretical part you can get those things so let me show the practical things here okay so this is the employees part uh, where we have to start um images might not be clear to you because i just got these images after a huge struggle on the google so you may not not find them clear but i'll explain everything here okay so this will be the screen where you have to review the report so there are four options travel expense approvals app center first you have to go this expense it is written as expense here when you will click on the expense you'll get this option for processor as you can see here under processor there will be again two options process receipts and process report you have to go on process reports one minute okay you have to go on process report then next screen will be this that you will get after clicking on this process report there are multiple options first is run query you have to click on this run query part again there will be four option there will there will be a drop down you have to select from there reports ready for processing you need to select reports ready for processing after this these are the columns that will be appear uh, it is written as report name begins with all right so either you can mention the name of the report okay you will be provided with the list 
बाय द क्लाइंट ऑन विच यू हैव टू वर्क अपॉन ओके सो नो नीड टू वरी अबाउट दैट दैट फ्रॉम वेयर वी विल गेट द रिपोर्ट नेम्स यू विल बी प्रोवाइडेड विद द लिस्ट इट विल बी आई द रिपोर्ट नेम और रिपोर्ट आई डी वी यूज टू वर्क विद द रिपोर्ट आई डी इन अवर प्रोसेस इट इज लाइक न्यूमेरिक नंबर वन टू थ्री फोर अप टू लाइक फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन डिजिट नंबर ओके दिस रिपोर्ट आई डी इज यूनिक टू एवरी एम्प्लॉयज रिपोर्ट ओके यू हैव टू मैंशन कॉपी इट हेयर इफ यू आर सेलेक्टिंग रिपोर्ट आई डी देन यू हैव टू मैंशन द रिपोर्ट आई डी हेयर एंड इफ यू आर सेलेक्टिंग द रिपोर्ट नेम हेयर देन यू हैव टू मैंशन द नेम ऑफ द रिपोर्ट विच विच विल बी मैंशनड ऑन द रिपोर्ट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय वैन यू विल एंटर डैट यू विल डायरेक्टली यू नो रीज टू द रिपोर्ट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय if not if not suppose you don't have any report ids and anything these are the reports that employees have submitted and we have to review them all of them okay you can pick any report from here the reports will appear here on this screen when you will click on this reports ready for processing this screen will appear and select any report from here these are the multiple reports of different employees it could be same and it could be different employees if one employee has submitted more than one report then it will appear here okay select any report next when you will open any report it will be uh, like this up now different employee may have different kind of expenses in this particular report employee has car rental expense hotel expense fuel expense air fare expense um, let's suppose you are going on a trip so you you are going by a plane so there is an air fare air fare is the ticket of a plane the charge use of air fare that is here okay car rental now you went uh, you know you need to go from airport to hotel okay so you have rented a car that comes under the car rental category these are the categories that have already been decided in the system you need to just select those category okay so the, here one is car rental then hotel expense then it is fuel if you have used your personal car right from going uh, going from airport to the hotel or for, or to your house then you can also get reimbursement for that as well because it was that it cost incurred for the official reason so these are multiple kind of expenses okay that will appear on the left side if you can see here and next <clears throat> next 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 okay 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 <clears throat> just give me a minute okay if you see these four options over here you have reviewed this uh, this report okay this one you have reviewed this report or any report then on the top right corner it is not here in this snapshot uh, it will appear like this these are the four options this one says approve okay and this is uh, return to employee or send back now let's say you have reviewed this report and you do not found any error you have checked everything i'll explain what you what all you need to check you know this is the main work that we have to do okay you have reviewed the report what will you do you did not find any error you'll simply approve from here this one approve the report and then uh, within a uh, you know 5 to 7 working days employee will get uh, get reimbursement uh, to their uh, account if they have incurred any Uh, out of pocket expenses and if not then the third party or the card provider from which the expenses have been incurred it will be settled from here your work is to approve this report from here and let's see you found some errors in the report then what you have to do there is a option for send back this report will be sent back to the employee and now how employee will know that uh, my report has been returned Uh, but what is the reason i want to know in that case when you will click on this thing send back there will be a comment box appear on the screen 
says comment you can write here like there is some uh, mismatch in the amount on the receipt it says four hundred dollars but you have mentioned for four fifty dollar kindly uh, you know uh, check it and uh, match the amount and mention it correctly then again resubmit the report you can mention all those things in the comment whatever the uh, like one point two point how, how many errors are there no matters you have to mention all those things in the comment then you can send it back to the employee employee can review your comment and then after correction or whatever he has to say he will return the you know uh, resubmit the report so this is what we have to do now what all things we need to check come to this snip uh, i don't know it is clear to you or not but i'll explain it says expense okay i have written over here this one is expense this is e receipts and this is receipt image e receipts are generated automatically okay e for some of for some receipts and receipt image are those images that employee have attached or uploaded along with the their expense for example there is an airfare expense then employee has attached those tickets okay under the receipt image we can check it next is expense type uh, so employee has uh, you know stayed in a hotel then under the expense type he can select the hotel category these are the gls that have been uh, uh, you know created from back end these are the different kind of gl what we have to do you have to uh, select the right gl for the right expense type so here is a taxi it is written as taxi so he might have you know taken some taxi to go somewhere to go to the airport or hotel or anywhere so he has mentioned the taxi uh, expense type taxi here transaction date on which it was occurred uh, it will be mentioned by employee you need to cross check it with the receipt whether it is correct or not here it is business purpose what was the purpose of that taxi that you have taken employee will mention it there then next is vendor description so there are different companies taxi okay so employee has to mention that which vendor taxi was it you just need to cross check it with the receipt what you have to check you you can open the receipt on the one side then cross check it whether the employee has mentioned the correct expense type the receipt is attached for taxi only transaction date mentioned on receipt is matching with this date and uh, business purpose is you know reasonable accurate or not you have to check this vendor description matching with the receipt and then payment type okay there are three different payment types uh, one is out of pocket one is company paid and there is one more expense type uh, uh, which is called uh, you know it varies company to company so let's limit uh, limit it to the two two payment type only it depends upon the company actually so i can't just uh, reveal that third party name here so there are two out of pocket or company expense if you have any uh, incurred any expenses uh, out of from your pocket so you can select out of pocket here there are drop downs you can select from there okay out of pocket and if uh, it was paid by the company card company will provide you a card for the business trip course then you can select that company paid you will mention mention the amount over here like taxi fare was uh, hundred dollar it is too much but let's say hundred dollars you can mention it here and then amount approved uh, it can be same it can be less okay so hundred dollar here uh, hundred dollar it is mentioned and then comment if employee want to mention any additional detail for us to review and this one is uh, personal expense do not reimburse do not reimburse what is this now let's say this taxi expense incurred during the business trip employee has to you know upload all their expenses uh, for the balance uh, to uh, uh, how can i explain uh, 
you know to make the things balanced like he has to show everything in his in uh, in his uh, file that these are the expenses that have incurred but but he do not want to take reimbursement for this taxi expenses he paid out of pocket but uh, it was for some personal reasons so he is saying that this expense incurred during the business trip but it was for personal reason and i do not want to take reimbursement from the company so what he will do after uploading all these thing he will check mark this thing personal expense do not reimburse so it this uh, for this pay, uh, expense the employee will not get the reimbursement you can check mark this do not reimburse personal expense and next it is written as company code that employee belongs to which company uh, which company code there are multiple company codes okay so we can select it from here so this is the main job that a travel consultant uh, has to do generally and uh, of course things changed it depends upon the policies of the company like uh, what what are their policies how much they are paying granting uh, uh, what all are the reimbursements and everything that they are giving to their employees for the business trip it completely depends upon the company policy this is the basic of our sap conquer how it looks and uh, what are those things etc etc let me see if there are any additional things that you need to know <coughs> okay let me show you one more thing in this okay this is one of the expense report opened of an of an employee it is written as here details okay and it is approval flow okay i forgot to mention one thing when you are reviewing this report firstly this report went to the uh, manager of that employee that manager will review the report and approve it from his end only then the report will come to us for for further review that will be reviewed by us okay so whatever reports that you are reviewing it has to be you know first approved by his manager only then that we can review the report <laughs> okay so we want to check under this approval flow who has uh, approved this report so we can check it from here go to details under details you will see the approval flow and approval flow will show you this screen uh, here it is written as manager manager name approved yahan pe date mention hai kab approve kiya tha okay so this is for our knowledge we can check it is the manager who has approved it and when next this is all we have to do and uh, additional points you know this is the basic if you are going for an in for any interview and uh, they ask you about the sap conquer what does it do and uh, explains what all we have to check so i think this video covers everything from from its basics baki um, and there are many details and you know there are many 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 other things as well for this which i can't you know i can not be possible to explain everything here without the uh, tool so this is all from my end that you need to know for the sap conquer i hope it helps you and if you have any uh, you know queries or anything you can mention in the comment section i will surely you know reply to that thank you